Hey there! Today we're gonna make a fume extractor with a vacuum cleaner, an umbrella, and all these PVC pipes. It's gonna work. Don't worry. So first thing I did was disassembling the vacuum cleaner. And this is how the motor looks. This is the air intake. It's a bit rusty, but it will do. This is just some tampering foam, I guess. And you'll notice there's no upper and outtake because the air just flows out through this window and keeps the motor cool at the same time. So, I'll need some kind of housing for this. So I'm gonna need to make a housing with a decent intake and outtake. And the plan is to use these PVC fittings and it will go like this and then and this reduction will just connect it to the rest of the line. Now with this seal from an old sink, it should do just fine. Now I need a way to connect this intake to the rest of the line. So I'm gonna glue one of these caps, I made a hole on it, so it fits on the same seal and it's center. And I'm gonna glue them, so I'm gonna sand both surfaces flat to make sure they stick properly. With this big change in diameters from the line to the intake, there's gonna be a big pressure drop. I could just buy a funnel, but I'm gonna try to make a custom one with the end scarf. I got my funnel model in Isel Pro, and let's give it a try. I'm opening the curves a little bit more so it's easier to bend and then I'm gonna use some duct tape on the back side as well so they don't break. So now I'm just letting them break. They should be the same amount of broken. This is more broken than the other. So. So once you fold it, it looks decent, but I'm gonna reinforce it with a couple rings I've cut and I'll hot glue everything in place, so this thing should be strong enough. Now that this is solid, I've cut an Eva foam pad that goes inside and then the funnel. Then I got this strainer which is the same size and it's gonna protect the motor. So. so this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna extend this pipe and then make a hole in this cap that will be pressing all the components inside the pipe. This is how it looks. Now that this is done, we can start working on the other side. Now the motor fits quite tightly, but to prevent the motor from moving side to side, I'm gonna use some screws to keep it centered, and then I will use this ring, 
And these are the cup that I already cut. These are the cup that I already cut to fit the contact. And these will keep everything together inside the housing. Understood? Before I insert the motor, I want to add some of this packing foam between this ring and the housing. I have this piece here. Good stuff. Last thing I need to do before completing this is fitting the wire and I'm gonna use one of these things, I don't know the name. Cable gland. So I'm gonna use this cable gland to make sure everything is sealed. I need to create a flat spot for it to sit in. So I hope this portion bit will be enough because the wall is quite thick. That should be enough. That little chamfer there will be the room for an O-ring. Just wait. Mm, I think it needs to be bigger. Yes. Now I just need to hang it on the wall back there, connect it to the line and then I'll extend the intake to the welding area. Well, it's gonna be the dome of this dust collector, but I need a way to fix it up there. It's not gonna rain much inside here. Mm, I'm scared. No. How am I gonna hang this? Well, this plug happens to be an M8 thread, so I just made this out of an eye hook and some threaded rod that goes in there. Good. Now, this is the dome, and this is how the airflow is being sucked, and I don't want this just to come from in front of the line, but instead I want it to come from the sides and get all the air possible. So I'm adding some kind of deflector, so the air is actually coming from the sides and not just from in front of the intake.
Now the motor has this small board to regulate the power and it needs some kind of enclosure. I already made a small bracket to hold it and I still need to make, you know, the rest of the thing. But I'm lazy so I'm gonna use the box make it up initially. This thing looks a little bit absurd, but it works quite well. I'm planning on adding a flexible hose to be able to focus the suction in some areas or for laser engraving, but I'm very satisfied. Hope you liked it and you already know that you can share, subscribe, whatever, if you are not, and or even support me on Patreon. Otherwise, just go watch another video or just, I don't know, close YouTube.